Alright, let's take a look at what we got. So I can get more gold by going to the other one, and I'll get a trap of some sort. So that's not too bad. Let's take a look at our traps set up right now. I have these four traps, nothing new, so there's nothing to really worry about. So yeah, we'll do veterans. Mostly for the gold. So I pretty much give up on the room one, but I believe by doing so, I'm able to solidly attack in room two. Alright, so we have here healing. Can't be affected by poison. And morale once. Or in some morale. Okay. So we got back air, back nature. Probably you, what I'm guessing. All right, what about damage? So so I kind of look at, see what, what damage I'll take and what damage I can do to them. So if I do this, I'll do some decent physical damage. Yeah, we'll definitely bring you in. All right, so my choice is him to resist all the nature damage from the group. Or I can pick him for the resist to air. Uh, we'll go with this because there's two nature attackers. Alright, so if I apply this, they will have fire weakness of four or four over four turns. And it'll take them a couple turns to get here. However, I do have a burning spell as well. Fire looks like it would actually be pretty good on them. We'll, we'll do that just to change things up. So we'll go ahead and put in that fire cauldron. Or oil cauldron. Alright, let's see here. So we'll want to have Frickus in there as well. Probably the dog. So maybe... You... Oh, wait, hold on. You need to go in the back. I keep looking, I know. This, this is why I said like in the future I'll probably remove this phase of the game from it through editing. But they don't attack anybody in the front, realistically. Uh, you you would be fantastic in the back, actually. So maybe you, you, you? Good enough, I'm not too worried about it. So you don't take much poison, but you will take a little bit. Okay, so we'll do physical damage here. Now, even if I don't kill any of them, they will use their skills. So, for example, if I if I stop here, she'll heal him by 50% of life. However, the most bang for my buck is to totally kill her before the battle ends. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, though. If I just spread out my damage, she'll probably just heal herself, I'm assuming. If she weren't going to heal, I would just do that, but see, she just healed herself. But these guys still suffered as a result. So now they're weak to fire damage by 40, so I can hit them for much more. Just to sh Again, just to shake things up. It may not have been the best choice, but that's alright. Alright, now comes the real damagers. These are my level 2 warriors. So, I now do damage to the guy in the middle, which is awesome. This is an awesome ability. So if I hit her with fire column in the front, it actually splashes onto him as well. We'll go ahead and just try to murder the one in the front. I didn't choose her because she'll just bleed to death. So now this guy's going one on one against my boss who is enraged. So jovial. I guess we'll just go with this one for the opposite. Alright, so 
we're short one, we'll go ahead and just grab you. Swap these out. The doctor will heal you, but I'm not really that worried about it, so I'd rather spend my turn training up one or two of my guys. I have enough money for exactly one character. We're gonna go ahead and use you. He'll do an extra 100% damage if the enemy has less armor. I think that's better than paying to heal myself. I can go to the alchemist, which will change my blood. It'll convert my blood tears into gold, or blood into tears, or tears into blood. None of those is anything I'm worried about. Well, dusting the dungeon, the cleaning goblin has freed a monster caught in a spider's web. He also accidentally woke up as a giant spider queen, who demands compensation for the destruction of her webs. Minus 120 by choosing to fight. If I fight, I will lose minus 120 life, or I can feed her blood instead of losing life, but either way, I will get Henry the Skeleton Scientist. We'll go and fight. So now I actually have an S a spare dude. Um, so I can, if I wanted to, I could put Krigan up, put Bree out there, and there we go. Now everybody can be full of motivation next turn. An archaeologist is ringing your doorbell to claim an artifact, blaming you for looting it. Right here. He even, demand, he even dares to demand you donate to a museum. We'll crush his head. So I can go to collectors or event. Personally, I'm going to go to collectors. That'll give me a guaranteed money. It, 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 I don't know what events will bring me. These suit and tie vampires are here to collect taxes. However, blood is more valuable than gold coins to them. They could even grant you a monetary compensation in exchange for blood collection. And you'd be and you would exceptionally be exempted from taxes. So if I accept, I will lose 240 life. That's what that means. If I pay this blood here, I don't lose that 240 life. So this is why I mean that they could just move it down here. It'd be minus 240 hit points or something. So yes, I'm going to pay 240 hit points, which I'll recover in 10 weeks, to get 200 gold. And we have our next battle. So we have here a handsome reward for fighting a danger level 4 veteran army. So we have here the shuffling character. So now I'm deliberately going to put all my dudes in the worst position. So I will not want the ice guy in the front. I'll probably put him in the back or middle. Alright, so we'll do something like this, this, and this. But it only works one time. He, he it's, it's, uh, it says of the start of the first fight. Lagging a bit. Although the ice skeleton obviously has more ice resistance, the hit point difference I think makes it more valuable to put the pig in front. What abilities do I have? I have bleeding, bleeding, morale. We'll do circular saw then. Maybe we need to turn down the graphics. Alright, this is pretty much the order I want. <clears throat> we'll go and turn down the graphics a little bit. Alright. We'll go ahead and hit the front character for the most damage, I believe. Although I'm not worried about the bounty, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in sharing that 30% damage. Alright, it's still lagging. Let me try restarting the application after this. Oh, 
was hoping you would die from all that stuff. Oh well. Let me restart the application real quick and see if we can get that lag to go away. I have some gold, that's enough to spin at the trainer, and I definitely need my guys to get a little stronger. But I do see a trainer in the next, but if I look ahead, I can see that I also have another option between a trainer or getting an artifact. We'll probably get the artifact, so we'll do the trainer now. We're gonna leave a little bit of gold on hand because sometimes events take gold. And I feel that level two is the biggest jump. All right, let's do business trip. And I can get this, which I don't really care too much for. 25% chance to come back as a skeleton warrior. I'm not I'm not very big on gambling that stuff. I, I'm, I always have horrible luck on anything. So I think I'd rather do this. I guess it depends on how what kind of monsters I have. This is more, obviously more gold for me. Do I, can I spare him? Yeah, I have plenty. I, I have plenty of motivation. Yeah, let's spare him. Okay, so it wouldn't let me move anybody in the menu because this was between between weekly interaction. All right, so this is what my squad looks like. We'll put Henry in front now because he has enhanced trap to defend Henry. We're going to have one of these guys out there. This is a morale damager. You can be there. Alright, this is my squad now. I do have enough guys left over to plunder, so we'll do that. So this is pretty much a guaranteed, I believe. Whereas this, this is a random chance. So I can get an artifact, maybe. Or I can get injured for 10 weeks. Which is probably two dungeons. We'll try for the artifact. Let's hope my, my risk of injury is greater than my chance of finding the artifact. I mean, it could be any of these three. Your volunteers have desecrated a crypt. The local skeletons frowned disapprovingly. They have emerged unscathed. So I did not get injured, nor did I find an artifact. I did get the gold, however. Black market will allow me to sell my monsters. I'm not really interested in that. The R&D manager has developed a new trap. He's very proud of it. He, he wants to secretly sell it to you for a few gold coins. No. You're limited in what traps you could use. If I could use all my traps, then yes, this would be good. But I'm not paying you 75 gold for something that will sit in my storage. Alright, now I have a choice between veterans, veterans, and champion. You can see here that I will get a rare reward if I go for the champion, but I can get a master bonus if I go for the second one. We'll go ahead and go for the champions, because I do want the gold more than I want the master bonus. The rare reward can be a monster or an artifact or something. Alright, so this is the champion. He's got a little glowy glowy line around him that his name he does 46 physical damage to the front if his life is above 35 percent which pretty much is going to be he will do additional 100 percent damage to the guy behind and if it's under 35 percent he will reduce his damage by 35 percent so that that is what makes him a champion all right and then we have this healer so there's no real point in attacking him until she's gone or at least not in room one We can just do morale. All right, so let's try to kill her. So armor or fire? I don't think I have any of that. Nature, nature, physical ice. She does not really take good ice damage, so we probably won't do that. And we want this guy here. 
this doesn't actually add much to the way. So maybe maybe I can boost up my trap, or I can do nature damage to her. We'll worry about boosting up the trap. That way she'll. I I, I won't try to cat go all in and see about doing enough damage to take her out the first round. So this will, I believe, raise it up to level three, and I I don't know what the level three ability is, but I'm I, it's probably enraged level four. We have all these front abilities, and these guys are somewhat resistant to ice. Sixty physical. Hey, you are very resistant to physical. Fire damage. Yeah, let's do that. That's not gonna be very good. I'm, I'm gonna, he's gonna that champion's gonna do so much damage to me, but I'm gonna try to whittle these all down. What I believe, and I'm not entirely sure, is even though he has taken about 46 points of damage and she has only taken about 43 points of damage, the AI would heal her because she actually has less proportional life, is what I believe. So if I continue to do damage to him, he will actually get healed. Even if I did Wild Strike on him, he wouldn't have below. We'll go ahead and try to hope for a stun. No stun. She healed her, <laughs> which is good for me because this guy that would have healed more life. So I, I have not done a lot. We're going to stack that in rage. That's not very much. It's only six now. I, I feel like that trap enhancement did nothing, but all right. She has eight life left. She will take ten damage in life. So I'm all right. I don't know if it's better to start doing life drain or to, to widow his morale down. We're going to do this one. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, because this this challenge does not affect. This damage affected by two bird stone does not seem to be affected by challenge. Uh, you can see that her morale is not being affected at all, but her life is affected when we do whiplash. So we'll do whiplash instead.
I may have been better off just doing enslavement constantly then. Was rough. One more corpse to decorate my home. <laughs> All right, we'll go for the lure. This allows multi-action to the next trap. At max level, it'll give me three actions. So for one trap, I can trade in for three traps essentially. We'll go for that lure. My mask took a humongous beating that round. Looks like I'm gonna need to bring in some more guys for the next next one. But it's unlikely to be as drastic a uh, danger level. That champion was pretty serious business. We have lots of go. We're gonna go into go to the engineer and get that get that trap leveled up. Make sure that the trap is equipped, because the engineer will only look at the traps you have, so I can see here my lure is not in position. So go ahead and take all this stuff out, put the lure in, because I definitely like the lure. I like these the best as well, and then we'll just put in whatever else we've got. So we'll say, we got fire, ice, and armor. There we go. That's good. Go to the engineer, and we'll pay some good money to level up this lure. Nothing happens at level 2 except for an extra 10 morale, so don't expect to be impressed right now. It looks like this didn't really achieve anything right now. We'll go and level that up. And of course, we cannot level up the, the this bone catapult, which is a good secondary if I want to do more damage than instead of rely on my monsters. But this this is a good start. I don't want to pay anything to get these guys to get happier. You're invited to a work lunch with your employees. They're chanting your name when it's your turn to pay for everyone comes. Will you pay for? What will you pay for? Plus one motivation for all available monsters. So I can lose 100 morale to get or 100 mo money to get one morale. Or 15 blood to get one morale. We're just... Nope. For Siege, I can trade out some of my things for... Now, I don't I don't know if it, if what it counts out of, so we're going to go ahead and actually put these two up, and we'll put this out. And maybe when it comes time for the Siege, it will not select that. So the company needs some equipment, rent out some random traps. So in this case, it doesn't look like it's any of the ones I selected. So we'll go ahead and rent out these traps for eight weeks. Or an extra 299 gold. And then we'll put these traps back in. Because those are my favorite. I can choose between these three adventurer styles. So this one gives me more money. Um, the other one will give me an artifact. Hmm. I guess we'll go for the money. Artifacts, they're not all super powerful. They are good, and I can always find plenty of them. Okay, so these guys are weak to nature, so I should probably bring my nature people out. So something like this. Uh, you'd like to do fire back damage and fire front damage, so you're not very good at that. So maybe instead of you, we'll have Riley. No, okay. Unfortunately, that doesn't work out the way I'd want it to. The reason is this trap takes place after my monster group, so we'll just do Rallying Horn. Your nature.
So this is my selection. It's decent. I'm going to uh, look carefully and try to distribute my guys according to resistances. So give, give me a minute to do that. I've set things up. Hopefully this is a good layout and that we can survive. We have some gold. So we'll go and we'll level up. Reaching level two will get me a new passive, so we'll go ahead and do that for these two and see how much money we have left. I can level this guy up, but we'll go ahead and do that. And that's all our money. Let's check out the plunder. I'm not terribly sure that's the right move, but I don't have anything to spend on the merchant. And the seminar just may means that I use up my blood or tears to get a temporary bonus, which doesn't amount to much. Plunder. Alright, so we've got characters here that we can't afford to use up, but of course it depends on the risk of injury. This has the lowest risk of injury and gets us money. We'll go and do this. I, I do I do want the money more than I want a trap. Your volunteers stole all the farm's onions. The farmer's soup will be bland. You are so cruel. So I can pay 30 gold to get a fresh skeleton soldier. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, he's in this group, that's fine with me. One of your traps didn't pass the last minute of your checkup. You can call a repairer to come at your expense or send it for five weeks to the technical department who will fix it for free. If you have the appropriate artifact, you can of course of course repair it immediately. I do not have the bewitched glove, and I do not have the money for this. Not that I would, so yes, you can just take this away for five turns. Thankfully it's not my lure. And here we go for another champion. Alright, so we'll do lure here. The Huntress is affected by at least one penalty. Well, that's awesome. Back nature, back physical. Okay, probably you.
visible front. My choice is either have enhanced resistance for the front guy or have more ice damage. We'll go with more ice damage because a critical morale is not anything special. Um, maybe critical physical would be great though. That would be, what, like, 63 damage? We'll go with this instead. The dog doesn't do that much damage, whereas this guy does, so I will have to rely on that. And the dungeon overlord has almost no life left. Fortunately, if I... By doing that, you are gonna be... You're gonna... Stun me. I can't avoid attacking you forever. I brought him out because she had negative armor. And I put him in the back because I knew that he I figured he 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 was very resistant to physical damage, which is what this person does. Excellent. For your great accomplishments, the board has decided to name you as company CEO. Congratulations! Because this is the demo, this is as far as you can get. Ah, my work here is done. So if I did a customized battle, I would then be able to go on to year two or something. But this this is a good uh, this is a good first recording of the game. I'm stronger now. This was the prologue. If this was a game that caught your interest and it's something you want to see more of, be sure to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. Thank you very much for watching Tran plays Legend of the Keepers. I'll see you next time.